Will a 50 hertz amplifier work at 60 hertz? This question comes from Chris in the Philippines, in Manila. Chris writes, hey Paul, thanks for taking the time to post very informative videos despite your busy schedule. Oh yes, I am such a busy man. <laughs> well, you're very welcome, Chris. Um, they're very helpful to starting audiophiles like me. Uh, my question is, will a 50 hertz amplifier, or any other audio equipment for that matter, work in a 60 hertz country? The reason I'm curious is because I live in a country where the mains voltage is 230, but the frequency is 60 hertz, unlike other 230 volt countries. I find most audio equipment designed for 230 countries are spec'd at 50 hertz, and I'm worried that our weird main supplies might destroy them. Thanks and I'm excited to see more of your videos, especially the upcoming PS Audio speakers. Yes, oh yeah, I love it. I'm so excited about those upcoming speakers. Yeah, after all these years, 45 years of wanting to build speakers, we're finally doing it. So I, I'm, thank you, thank you, Chris, that, that's really cool. Um, the quick answer is no problem, my friend. No problem whatsoever. The opposite is not true. So, you can use 50 hertz equipment at 60 hertz all day long. Using 60 hertz equipment at 50 hertz, not a good idea. So that's the quick answer if you were just looking for that quick thing and you want to move on now to, what else does YouTube have? <laughs> Ducks and cats and people doing crazy stuff, right? So let's, for those that are hanging around, um, let's talk a little bit about what that all means. So years ago, many years ago, when at the beginning of power in the industrial age, there were two giants, and you've probably heard of both, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla. And Edison wanted to electrify the world with DC, big batteries, generators on hydro plants that spit out direct current, battery voltage. And, and this, was, this was Edison's great thing. And he hooked up with, um, oh gosh, who was it? I'm trying to think of the, I can't remember the, the uh, big industrialist, but um, they were dedicated to uh, turning the world into DC power. And the problem with DC, of course, is that, uh, and they started in New York, and the, the problems became up, uh, came up immediately. If, if you, um, a, a, as we use DC on a wire, it's, it's, there, there's impedance on the wire, and as we draw along that wire, just picture it like a Christmas tree thing, at the end of the wire, uh, you're going to have less voltage than you have at the beginning of the wire which is true not just for DC, it's true for AC and DC. It's just there's resistance in this wire. That this, and the longer the wire, the more resistance it has. And so um, as you try and deliver current through a resistor, uh, you get a voltage drop, right? So imagine in Edison's scenario, they had a building, and at the bottom of the building, the lights were very bright, but then as the wire went up to the top story of the building, the lights were very dim. And that was a real problem. And, you know, it was, it was just, uh, it was not a very practical solution. They came up with all kinds of workarounds. And, and uh, meanwhile, this other guy, Nikola Tesla, came along and said, oh, that's, that's bunk. You should use AC. Well, why? Well, AC is better because I can send high voltage, as high as I want, um, anywhere I want, and because it's AC, I can use this device called a transformer to transform that voltage to whatever else I want. So if I have a thousand volts of AC going into this big building, then I can have various transformers that take it down to a hundred volts at the top floor and another transformer to take it down to a hundred volts at the bottom floor. Well, the 1,000 volts, because we're drawing, it's still, we still have the same problem, right? Resistors, the resistance of the wire, as we draw current, it's going to start lowering. But it doesn't matter, 
Because if I'm taking 1,000 down to 100, that's a factor of 10. So what if, if all the load on there starts going you know, from 1,000 down to you know, 800 or whatever? Doesn't matter. My transformer is still just going to give me 100 volts if you do it right. And this is a very simplified explanation. So, um, and now you'll see, you know, the, in the world, and uh, well, at Tesla won, uh, not before, and there's, I, I produced this video called From Coal to Coal Train. You can see it on our YouTube channel. It's about an hour, I warn you, but it's all about the battle between Edison and Tesla. Look it up, Coal to Coal Train, like John Coltrane. Um, oh, oh the, the electric chair, for example, was built uh, by Edison uh, using high voltage AC to kill people. He killed elephants and dogs and criminals and uh, just to prove how dangerous AC was to try and, and beat Nikola Tesla. And of course he, you know, he, he was a very bitter man. He didn't succeed. That said, the AC means that it's voltage that is moving, right? And how many times it moves from plus to minus, as if you were switching a battery back and forth, is, um, is called out in hertz. And if it moves 50 times a second, then um, that's what we call 50 hertz. And if it moves 60 times a second, that's what we call 60 hertz. The higher the frequency, the smaller the transformer needs to be in order to do its work. So a 60 hertz transformer is about 20% smaller than a 50 hertz transformer. So as manufacturers, all the equipment that we make has to work worldwide. And so we make, and like most manufacturers, we make everything at 50 hertz because we don't want to have to stock two different transformers. So we make everything 50 hertz because we know that at 60 hertz, yes, it's oversized, but that doesn't matter. If we did the opposite, we'd have to have a 50 hertz transformer and a 60 hertz transformer. So we don't, and it really doesn't matter. Uh, in fact, um, you're almost better off. W w one real quick thing, the reason we have 50 hertz and 60 hertz, I don't know the exact reasoning, but I know why we have 60 hertz, and that's because of Nikola Tesla. Tesla was a superstitious guy, and he believed everything needed to be divisible by three. That was part of his superstition. And the, the, the rest of the world went with 50 hertz. I don't know why they chose 50 hertz, but Tesla refused to do it because it was not divisible by three. So there's your little trivia for the day. Anyway, you're fine uh, and, 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 and have at it and thank you for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.